Hello guys, now we are going to see Google Cloud Data Flow Lab exercise. So before create, we need to enable this Data Flow API. Let's click and check this API services and check dashboard. And enable the API and services. In the search box, type data flow click oh cool it's an already enabled okay now we need data flow and storage actually storage we are using the storage when we submit the jobs on data flow only okay however just open it on new tab and click data flow also Okay, this bucket, uh, bucket is empty in storage. Okay, our co code is Apache Beam code. If you go there, I mean, there are uh, what are the programming it's supporting? They clearly mention here Java, Python, Go, Quick Start. So we are into Python. Click Python and go through here and to understand more on that. If you have any doubt, you can you guys can contact me through email. Okay, now okay. This is my sample code. What I'm doing here, I'm importing beam, Apache Beam and then regular expression. I'm I define own function. Own function. Uh, I'm going to search import string on that uh, input file. Okay, how many input? How many input? We mean we are using that input file. I'm going to grab those information. Okay, this is my target. See, this is the main. A third uh, and this is input path and this file information and then output path that file information and there are three you know, pipeline steps for so first one is reading data and second one is transforming this data I mean it's a simply I'm I'm going to search this important import uh, string by calling this by grep method after that I'm going to read the data. Going sorry, going to write the data. Let's make sure whether this path exists or else change this path based on your need. To check the path, open Cloud Shell and open this Cloud Shell on different window. It will be more comfortable. See okay before that, how that I prepared some sample input data with the import input information. I copied. Okay, this is my path. And ls. Okay, these are the directories. I'm navigating to data flow local. Now pwd ls. Okay, I already created. I'm using VA editor to uh, see. Okay, I have some. Da I have data already inside. Now we need to make sure this path. Oops, PWD. This is the path and replace this path and we are going to put output file also in same path. Okay, done. Now you can copy and create Python script data flow lab one dot py. Okay, it's a local right lab local py before I want to use nano editor nothing both are same but I can't record this video 
here I will paste the code now control X yes I am saving and then enter okay and then give execute permission okay now I am going to run this code it gives error it's saying import error no model named Apache Beam yes I need to install Apache Beam first how to install sudo pip install apache beam square bracket gcp install it it will take few seconds running setup file in background usually in uh, data proc it's different it's very simple it's in background it's taking care of everything still it's simple um, here you can see still it's spinning okay it's running 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 downloading is done and running okay it almost done okay it's done now we can run our code again same code run it it's done check ls ltr see the current date is september 23rd 18 and this is the output file we got it okay let's open the file and i know see it scraped all the information because we mentioned all the all the lines contain import right let's close it again open no, no. I'm going to add some more value test extra lines extra data and save it yes yes just to make sure yes and create one more line input to dot txt because i mentioned star dot txt in the input path import no import right yeah import testing and then import file dot to oops nano input to dot txt because I want to use nano only not VI testing import test dot r dot project file to and save it yes close it okay clear pwd ls okay now we have two file i'm going to run this file again what it says it gives warning so we can ignore this it just because we are we didn't change output file name so it go it just re rename uh, deleted and then create a new file ls here this is the output file v nano see the file which we created new input file it has file to data it copied that also and then it copied from the first first file it has this many information it copied that also okay in the next video we can see how to submit this code to
cloud and what are the changes we need to make sure.